Okay, so the idea of this video was to share digital portfolios that had an impact on us. And um, I, I'm going to share three briefly. All have something in common, and it wasn't so much the professional aspect of the portfolio that I found had the impact. It was actually the opposite. It was the personal part of uh, their portfolio that, that I thought had the most impact. It, it added a human element to each of the three people. So I'm going to start with actually Debbie Donsky's. And of course, you know, there's all kinds of information and thoughts that she happily shares in a reflective stance. But it was in the art section here that I actually found um, the most impact for me. It, 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 it almost made um, her learning and experimentation uh, visible. And that, that was kind of the common thread amongst at least two of the three. Uh, the other one I'll just share quickly, and that's uh, Jennifer Robinson's from this class. And, and again, it was the travel story. So, you know, as much as we're all trying to, to share our voices on, you know, either our newly or, or um, already established blogs, with Jennifer, it, it was the idea of sharing the places that she's visited and the impact that it had on her as a person. And I always think, you know, when we share ourselves as part of our journey, we give people some insight into who we are. And then the last one um, was Roy and Lee. And again, I've been following Roy and for quite some time and certainly read uh, his uh, micro blogs on Twitter, his spicy learning blog. But I also go and check out some of his covers, usually as an Instagram story, but also here that you know I'll share with you on his YouTube channel. So, you know, I, I think, you know, he's thinks nothing to just pick up a guitar and go. Um, you know, he sounds fantastic, but he happily shares, you know, I'll say warts and all. And, and I think what it does, I think it does several things, but I think it humanizes people who are sharing information in, it, in an educational context. And then I think, you know, for students or parents or people who are not in education and who might happen to look at our content, it, it makes them realize that we live, you know, outside of uh, of an educational realm that we you know um we exist outside of education so it prompted me to to create my own music and learning page which i sort of shared as a uh, blog post slash page last night and you know i just kind of quickly scroll through it but it shows pictures and purpose of you know where i sort of do most of my learning and kind of where i get uh i get stuck sometimes so i thought that it would be important to share that so that was where the impact was for me. It was um, it was really in the non-educational side of the digital portfolio. So uh, again, thanks for listening. So long, everyone.